video for a wee while just going to tie a kind of general early season lure the uh, season starts uh, in a few days but uh, by the time this video goes out it's probably going to be uh, uh, the season will have started anyway uh, so in the vice I've just got a general uh, just, a, just a barbless wet fly hook uh, size 10 you can use a Kamazan B175 or a, a fill and mill competition heavyweight any, anything you want hook's not really that important uh, the bead I've got on is a it's a three point eight mil tungsten bead. I'm just going to be using some black thread. Any thread will do. Uh, this is a shear and fourteeno. Uh, just run a quick layer of thread down. Just run that away. Uh, for the tail, I've got some black marabou. This is some of Dave Downey stuff. It's the black velvet. Uh, Dave's is uh, by far the best, in my opinion. Uh, in terms of marabou, so I'll just snip the wee bit off from the stock. You'll need to need a wee bit. Fold it over. Trim that away. Trim the stock away. Back out of the tough. Turn way back. Main reason for tying this, uh, I'll show you in a wee second. Take that just pretty much down to where the barb would be. A couple of wraps in behind, and then trim it away. No particular length, uh, just wherever you, just wherever you fancy. Now. The main reason for tying this, I bought some capes recently from uh, Cooksell. This is a chartreuse hen cape. I bought it for tying snatchers and stuff. Uh, and it's great, but for the most capes, you, the bigger feathers. We don't, we don't tend to use them very often, so I, I like to use them for lures. Uh, so I'm basically going to use that uh, for this lure. Frankled up here. For the body, I'm just going to put on some uh, organza, black organza ribbon. This has been stripped. I like to leave it quite long. Just catch that in at the end. It doesn't have to be overly neat. This is this fly is all about. It's all about the movement, movement you get for the tungsten bead, and hopefully, the uh, the hen hackle. Put five or six tons of this down, not touching, just uh, nicely spaced. That'll do. Trim that away. Select a feather, one of the bigger feathers. Do. So see, these are the feathers we end up, we end up not using them. Uh, I, I like to use them for tails and things. Catch that in, fold it back. I don't even bother when I'm tying lures, I don't even bother trimming that off. That just adds a wee bit more. Uh, a bit more movement to the fly. Hackle pliers. And just as you turn, just double the hackle back, stroking it back. Having to wind it a slightly different way because the camera's quite close to the vise. Tuck 
from them there, I think. Oh, I can have all there. Oh. There we go. Again, this doesn't have to be neat. Because generally if you're going to be fishing it reasonably fast. And the fish are not going to have much time to make their minds up. So let's trim away the stock. And that's a lot. Now it's my plan. Forget about fishing in the next forget about fishing in the next couple of days. I'll put a video concentrate now. I'll put a video on uh, of me fishing this and hopefully catching a, a fish or two. So uh, all been well. And the theory is that uh, this was the flying action after this uh, after this video. So thanks for watching uh, and tight lines. Hope the season's a good one. Cheers guys.
Oh, I flipped one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 